Sometimes people ask me, uh, did I always want to be a scientist? Uh, when I grew up, uh, the physicists were kings. Albert Einstein, uh, J. Robert Oppenheimer. You know, another question is, are we scientists doing a good job? Cells have uh, a very complex internal organization, which uh, we've been studying for many years, uh, really almost uh, 20 years. And uh, what is remarkable is that uh, every a nucleated cell, which means most cells on the planet. Plant cells, yeast cells even, we have some yeast cells here on the picture, uh, on the screen, uh, and animal cells and of course human cells. All of our cells have a remarkably complex internal organization. And uh, as a cell grows and divides uh, for normal tissue or even in cancer, cancerous tissue, uh, these compartments uh, uh, or internal organization within a cell all need to be uh, duplicated. And so there's a very complex delivery process which we've been uh, seeking to understand uh, uh, how this uh, process occurs. And uh, the delivery process really uh, involves uh, little sacs that we call vesicles. That, that they're technically called transport vesicles, but they're essentially little saccules, very tiny. You can only see them uh, uh, almost in an electron microscope, never, uh, never mind uh, the kind of microscope we have here, a light microscope. And they store uh, and, and are involved in carrying within the cell uh, new materials to go to specific locations. And these sacs uh, or vesicles fuse with the, with, uh, the target of, uh, of their uh, delivery process, uh, it, a, one or another cellular membrane. And so what we've been studying, uh, as of many others uh, interested in this area of cell biology, how this delivery process works, how each vesicle knows to uh, merge with uh, uh, its appropriate target. Um, all, all basic research, including my own, uh, if it's basic enough, uh, contributes in a very broad way. It, it contributes the underpinnings of, uh, of, uh, of future medical advances. And in some cases, and I would say uh, in our own case, the delivery process uh, can predictably be expected to have impact, though it will be 10 years or more until the impact is seen. Sometimes people ask me, uh, did I always want to be a scientist? And, uh, you know, I'm embarrassed to say yes. From the earliest I can remember, uh, uh, five or six years old, uh, I wanted to be a physicist. Well, I'm not a physicist, uh, but I came close. Uh, and, uh, yes, I, I did always want to be a scientist. And, and, and in many ways, I think uh, uh, this, I, I oftentimes think, like, why, why was that? Well, you know, I'm a child of the 1950s. The, uh, I was born in 1950, and people of my uh, generation um, grew up in an era when scientists were heroes. And I think that one of the most important, um, uh, when we think about, you know, how to encourage more young people to go into science, really, uh, at some level, it's it's uh, society's job to do that. And and, uh, and really, it, the, the stature of scientists in society is very important in that. Uh, when I grew up uh, during that era, uh, uh, the physicists were kings. Albert Einstein, okay, uh, J. Robert Oppenheimer. Uh, the products of those technologies, uh, in many ways, uh, the space program, the astronauts, uh, the Amer from the American view, uh, Shepard, Glenn. Uh, as an American, even thinking back to Thomas Edison, there were so many scientific heroes that it was uh, impossible not to be thinking if you had that inclination about science. So another question that uh, one has to think about in this regard is, are we scientists doing a good job of communicating with the public? And I think uh, the answer at some level is no. Uh, the skills that are required to be a successful scientist are not necessarily the same skills that, that really uh, uh, lend themselves to the publicity of science, to the explanation of science to a general public, sadly. I do think that uh, we're trying to do our best now with an appreciation uh, that we need to do more. I think, uh, frankly, prizes uh, like uh, the Heineken Awards are really uh, uh, a wonderful uh, a, a a format and make a wonderful statement uh, to the public uh, that uh, science is an important activity, that medical research is important, and equally the humanistic activities are important. And I think to the extent that one focuses on science, how well society appreciates 
let's say, biomedical research, one should also be focused perhaps even more on the status of humanistic studies. And uh, in that regard, I think that, again, the Heineken Prizes, uh, Heineken Awards, really uh, make a wonderful statement in elevating all of these areas of studies to the, to the plateau, the very high level uh, of recognition that they, both de that they all deserve.